time to buy the cheapest gaming PC off Amazon. To find out, is Amazon's cheapest gaming PC good? And can it even run Minecraft? Let's find out. With a maximum budget of just $250, let's buy ourselves the ultimate cheapest Amazon gaming PC. Okay. I got Amazon open. I'm going to find the cheapest computer. Let's do this. So I'm just going to search gaming PC as you do. Amazon knows I'm looking for cheap PCs, already giving me one that's less than 300 pounds. What is this? Oh my God. This, no. So this is a computer from Venoscorp. Venoscorp gaming PC desktop computer. i3, oh no. It's got an, I, it's got an i3 third gen. It, it's got 16 gigs of RAM. I, I'll give it that. Oh no. That is the graphics card. It's got a GT 610. The GT 710 almost came out 10 years ago. And even when it came out, it was an entry-level desktop graphics card. Oh my god, that's cheap. That is cheap. It's another Venoscorp. <laughs> it really appears like Venoscorp makes the overwhelming amount of cheap PCs on Amazon. Oh, wow. So we have a gaming PC from the brand OCHW. Okay, this one's 280. It doesn't even have a graphics card. Okay, new rule. It has to have a graphics card. Specific uses for this product. Gaming. <laughs> oh, and they listed it wrong. It says it has an Intel in here, but it's an AMD computer. What? Oh my God. Let's keep searching. Oh, wow. That is cheap. Intel Core i5. It's got a, oh my God, a GT710 again. Doesn't tell us what Intel Core i5. So that's what it actually looks like. If you're high, if you're, I can't read. <laughs> if you're into high-end gaming, this is not the one. It has low FPS. How low? Oh, that is bad. <laughs> Bought this PC for my son to do his schoolwork on. Bro cannot game on that. Oh my God, I think I've done it. I think I found the cheapest computer that I can get on Amazon. It's a Veno Scorp. This is budget. The, the previous ones weren't, I guess. Again, doesn't tell us what i5. 214 pounds. Let's buy it. <laughs> let's just do it. Let's do it. Buy now. Buy, okay. And it has been done. <laughs> I, I bought it. <laughs> Look what we have here. All right, here it is, the gaming PC. It just arrived literally like today. Fragile. It's so big you can't even see me. Let's unbox Amazon's cheapest gaming PC. Again, only using these terrible pair of... <sighs> these scissors are so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, you got you guys gotta see this. The actual computer is inside this. Dude, why did why did why, are, why is this even included? Like yeah, this power supply might explode. It looks a little sus. Professional power supply. <laughs> okay. There it is. Look at it. So close. Oh my gosh. And there it is. Oh man, you can slightly see stuff in there. Here is the gaming PC. We've almost revealed the PC. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I looking at? Oh no! Oh, I can see all the components inside. It's not looking good. The case is actually surprisingly good here. The actual PC case, it's not a bad case. Pretty decent airflow. This build is actually not bad if you consider just the cooling. Let's open up this computer. <sighs> Oh my god, this is not coming out. Oh my god, look, wait. Some bits of the case just came off. <laughs> the actual PC is corroding and oh. No, dude. If you look closely, you can see we have one stick of RAM. If you look closely at the RAM, you can see it is DDR3. So slow. Just when I was about to say that this PC case was good. I can't believe it. No, I can't believe it. You can see the end of this screw has broken off with the case. I didn't even do anything. This little bit in between holding the case together just came off. Why is it falling apart on me? Considering just how much this computer's falling apart, I will be surprised if this thing can even run Minecraft. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in now and find out, will it even be able to run Minecraft? We also have no idea what CPU is in here. I have put together an entire gaming setup with our $200 gaming PC. Bam. Oh, oh, oh. Get, a, get a zoom in, get a zoom in, get a zoom in. It doesn't sound bad. That sounds weird. <laughs> you can hear the hard drive. Oh my gosh, it's on, let's go. Oh my God, okay, wow. Do we have live? Oh no, it's not to the god, it's not to the god. Oh, the monitor isn't plugged in, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, oh my god, the monitor is- Do we have life? Oh, <gasps> it's on, it's on. Oh, let's go, all right. Let's go, oh dude. <laughs> 
I do not expect this computer to be compatible with Windows 11. Which means if you buy this, you're only gonna get security updates for like a year, I think. This computer is so loud. Oh my God, it is. We literally have no idea what CPU is inside of this computer. I want to find out. Uh, come on. Oh, I get to pick the name all in lowercase. Oh, a password. One, two, three. Do not hack me. Are we, are, are we ready? Come on, man. No! Mm, come on! Come on! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Oh. Let's open. Oh my god, the right click lag. Task manager. There it is. Dude, the lag. Oh no, we're already at 100% disk. What CPU? Oh my god, if it is a third gen i5, I'll. I'll Oh, it's a second gen! It's a second gen! I've been scanned so hard! Oh. This computer has a CPU that's over 13 years old. The disc they gave me is clearly on its deathbed. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that's actually really fast. I don't know why. Okay, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay, the Wi-Fi adapter is not terrible. 106. What is TeamViewer? What is... It says here that it is remote access and remote control software. Next up, we are going to download Minecraft. Minecraft. Oh, no, no, that's a scam. That's a scam. Okay. <laughs> okay, for some reason, the launch is kind of like stuttering. We haven't even booted the game up yet. We're on the latest release and let's load up the game. No FPS improvement mods. Let's see how well it runs. How long does it take? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, three. 21, oh, okay, 22, 25, okay, Mojang logo, 20, 29, 30, 30, <laughs> exactly 30, okay. It's the latest version. Let's find out, perfect, go. Oh no, how long is it gonna take to load? No, 100%, 100%, here we go. Joining world, oh, 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 oh my god, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> oh. Bad. Oh, wow, Zoe. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna press the F3 button. Three, two, one, go. Bang on 30. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Default settings. Oh, okay. Oh, 10 FPS. <laughs> 10 FPS. No. Oh, my God. This is so laggy. Okay, without the FPS counter, can you see how laggy this is? I'm, I'm currently loading chunks in. This is so bad. <laughs> we're, we're down to 30. Okay. What's the highest we can get? 60. Wait, is V-Sync enabled? Oh, hold on. V-Sync is enabled. Turn it off. 118 FPS is our highest. The amount of micro stuttering is just horrible. Makes like steering your mouse feel nauseating. And let me remind you, people are getting a thousand FPS on Minecraft these days. The maximum FPS on the latest version you can get is around 117. Converting the game at a lower resolution didn't really help either. That is not worth it. And on top of that, you're still gonna get the CPU lag that causes that horrible stuttering. Since I got this computer, it has gotten slower. Now when I open things, it just doesn't load. What the hell? Dude, the computer has died. Bro, it's back. It looks like the hard drive is failing. It is always flatlining on 100%. All my apps here have completely disappeared. Oh, there they are, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it actually is getting slower. Uh... Setting the game to the lowest render distance did give us an FPS boost, but there are many mods and clients you can use to boost Minecraft's FPS. Lunar Client being quite a popular one, I've been able to get Minecraft to 15,000 FPS using Lunar Client, but can it save the Amazon gaming PC? I'm gonna stand in this spot, switch to Lunar Client. It takes so long to save a world, and I don't think it's gonna save. Oh, there we go. And in free. Three, two, one. Okay, not much of an FPS improvement. Dude, the game is so laggy still. Oh, what the hell is that? 14 FPS. I have never seen a computer perform this badly with Luna Client in my life. Even when we did the $1 laptop video, that laptop was able to get 1,000 FPS. Okay, it is now day three of using the terrible computer, and it's time to show it who's boss. And the $300 built by me. 
ultimate gaming PC. Ultimate. You will be surprised how well this PC runs for only an extra $100. Now this computer might not look like anything special and this PC case itself has definitely seen better days. Inside of this computer, an RX 570 and this graphics card costing me around 60 pounds. And although it's old, the RX 570 is still a really capable graphics card. And it is miles better than a GT710 that they put inside of this gaming PC from Amazon. <laughs> Both of these PCs have Minecraft running on the exact same world we used before. And we are going to compare and see which one's better. First of all, the Amazon PC. And the Amazon PC, we are still averaging around 40 frames a second. And then sometimes it drops a lot. Let's go ahead and switch over now on a $300 PC. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is a night and day difference. It runs so much smoother, I can't believe it. This just proves how much of a scam the Amazon PC is. 400 FPS on the $300 PC, 43. Oh, 20. My guess with this computer, why it is so much slower than it should be. It is down to the terrible hard drive, constantly at 100%. So what have we learned? Do not buy cheap PCs off Amazon, unless you really know what you're doing. Subscribe. Bye guys.